Hey guys, it's Alan Yor. I'm here with a money-making guide for Vorkath. Before we get into the video, if you could please leave a like and subscribe, as well as consider joining my Discord server. Link is right here. That would be highly appreciated. Now, if this Discord link ever changes in the future or becomes expired, just check the link in this video's description and you'll be able to find it by uh, following that little rabbit hole. So, Vorkath. The wiki says we'll be making 3.3 mil. There's a fly in here. 3.3 mil per hour with the Dragon Hunter Lance. In my experience, it's actually a little bit closer to 4 mil. Um, the average Warcath kill is worth 135k, which is completely insane. Uh, so this is more than going to pay for supply. So do not worry about your supply usage whatsoever. The main priority is to stay alive. Because if you die, you will have to pay 100k to retrieve your items. Um, which, I mean, still isn't even that punishing because we're making that much per kill. But still, just don't die. Use as much supplies as you need to. And uh, you're going to make a lot of money here. We're going to get two superior dragon bones every single time. Which are the best bones in the game for prayer training. So lots of consistent money there. Two blue dragon hides, which are worth taking over a piece of food. So if you have a leftover dark crab or anglerfish, you can take the dragon hide instead. Uh, we have some high elk items and battle staves. We have high level ruins, large quantities of dragon hide. In fletching, we really only want to receive onyx bolt tips. For seeds, we really only want to receive magic, uh, spirit, or dragon fruit. In the other section, we just want to avoid the grapes and wrath talismans, but, you know, sometimes you'll get those. Uh, the rare drop, these apply to all monsters in the game, so it's not really special for this uh, specific boss. The unique table, Vorkath's head obviously is untradeable, but it's still a useful item that you want to get. Uh, the Clue Scroll Elite, if we click on this, if, so if you do the Clue Scroll Elite every time you get it, then you're going to be increasing your profits by 434k right here on average every single clue that you do so that's also going to boost your profits dragon bone necklace quite rare but very cheap probably due to botting uh, but it's a collection log jar of decay also botting problem but uh, collection log again vorky one in three thousand draconic visage and skeletal visage are both the big ticket items but they are quite rare so i wouldn't bank on them too much I mean, you're more likely to get the pet than you are one of the Visage. Actually, no. You're more likely to get one of the Visage because there's two of them. But they're all almost roughly the same drop rate. But in general, we just want superior Dragon Bones, uh, Dragon Hides, and the weapons and armor. So, for our gear, I am using, and you are going to as well, your best-in-slot offensive melee gear that you can afford. We have a Dragon Hunter Lance and an Avernic Defender. So I can get away with using a Defender because I'm using Extended Super Anti-Fire. If you were only using a regular Anti-Fire, then you would have to make this a Dragon Fire Shield. Um, we also have a Bando's God Sword. So we're only going to use the Dragon Hunter Lance when our Vorkath is debuffed by our, our BGS Special Attack, which uh, reduces enemy stats. If we miss these uh, hits... If we miss the Bando's God Sword hits, or if we don't have enough special energy, then we're going to switch to the Fang, which is uh, basically a weapon that never misses. It's very good accuracy. So I do think it's important enough to bring both. Um, to be honest, the Dragon Hunter Lance BGS combo is sort of a luxury. You can get away with just using a Fang if that's what you want to do. Uh, Divine Super Combat, Super Fire, Anti Venom Plus. I am on Slayer Task right now. I have Blue Dragons. If you do not have Blue Dragons, then you are instead going to use Natanat Face Guard with a Salve Amulet. But since I am on task, and since Salve Amulet does not stack with Slayer Helm, we're going to use the Helm and the Torture. But if you're not on task, you could consider using a Serpentine Helm instead of the Anti-Venom. It's totally up to you. Two Prayers, two Angler. Um, I forgot one important thing. We need the Slayer Staff. E. This thing right here is very important because you need to have an auto cast set to crumble undead. So you're going to need the runes for that obviously as well. So in my rune pouch I have chaos, dust, and law. The laws will allow me to house teleport as well, which is quite convenient. So yeah, that's about it. Also, I forgot one more thing. I need my enchanted lyre. There it is. If you don't have the lyre, you can use the Fremenic Sea Boots instead, or you can use 
ferry ring AJP and then head west. All right, so what we're going to do is, oh yeah, so also auto retaliate off, dragon hunter, lance, and fang set to stab, quick prayers, protect from magic, and piety. So what we're going to do is while we're in the bank interface, we're going to right click eat an angler, and then we're going to get another one, and then we're going to go to Relica. So I'm going to show you what to do for the first and second kill. And maybe halfway through the second kill, I'm going to turn on my sounds and stop talking and just kind of casually do it as fast as I can, just to see how much money we can make uh, in the time span of this video. That's kind of what I do with all of these videos. I do have a, um, I don't edit, do edits on my channel. By the way, if you die, sorry, if you die, right click collect from this guy right here. So. I don't do edits on this channel, so if you don't want to watch my casual kills where I'm not talking, I understand. Just skip to the end and you can see my loot tally. But the first and halfway, half of the second kill will be have commentary right now. So first thing you should know is uh, be aware of the durations of your potions. This one here is five minutes. This one here is six minutes. This one here is three minutes. Okay, so the three minute one we only use when we actually have to. The, we start with the six minute and we use the five minute after we wake up Vorkath. That's just how I like to do it personally. So if the BGS hits at least once, we use the Dragon Hunter Lance. If not, we switch to the thing. All right, so let's go ahead and start. So drink this, poke it, drink, drop, equip, prayers, special attack twice. We hit. We hit again. So this is going to be a pretty clean kill. That was my max hit right there too. So this is going to be a very good kill. All right, we're going to use Venom now, or Anti-Venom. When you see that, all you do is move to the side two tiles. When you see this, you disable your prayer and disable your sprint, and you start walking side to side. If you walk, if you change directions too fast, you're going to take damage. Make sure you give your character some extra time to breathe and really walk, like four tiles or something like that. Okay, good attack. And taking some damage. Most a lot of this damage is unavoidable, by the way. When this happens, disable your prayer, equip Slayer Staff, left click this thing. Only attack Vorkath once it's gone, because if you attack it while it's there, you'll waste some time because Vorkath is immune while the minion's alive. Okay, I'm going to open my, I'm probably going to get a personal best here, so I'm just going to open my uh, chat just so we see my duration and we can compare it to the Fang. Yeah, that was a new personal best, 122. So this time we do not have BGS, so we're going to spec, or uh, we're going to use Fang. When the pink hits you, you have to re-enable your prayers. And now you've seen every special attack, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop commentating. I guess the last thing to say is don't use your Fang spec unless you intend to leave after your current kill. Actually, more accurately, you would use your Fang spec if you're like low on supplies. Like, Let's say you had a bad run and you're close to like death, then you would use your Fang spec. But otherwise, don't use it. Save it for the BGS. Now, should you use BGS halfway through a kill... It's up to you, honestly. Um, yeah, it, it's personal preference. I really can't say. I usually prefer to leave it for the next kill to get some value out of it, but you know, it's not the end of the world if you just want to use it. But that's about it. So thanks for watching. Skip to the end of the video if you want to see how much money I make, or if you are happy with the guide and you know what to do now, then uh, yeah. <laughs>
It's okay to step in green pools if you want. I don't really want to play with fire right now, but if I walk through this green pool, it's okay. It's not a lot of damage if you need to reposition yourself. Acid pool phase is a great fight, and three acid pool phase is a bad fight. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, this will be my final three kills, probably. And um, I think the reason my Slayer staff was delayed because I ate a food uh, before equipping it. Take note, I still have some potions active, so I'm not going to waste them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's see what we made in this video. So minus supplies, which is very low and not even worth calculating. We got 1.18 million in the time it took to record this video. Uh, Vorkath's head did kind of affect our, our loot a little bit because this would normally be a different item. Um, I believe, right? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But I think the Vorkath's head and the Wrath Talisman definitely took away from our loot total, but still pretty good. Dragon Battle Axe, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.